you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Durham, thank you for being here. I know it's been one heck of a slog. I wish that we could, you know, just stick to the matter at hand, which is your report, but it's been interesting. We've been all over the, all over the place. Fidelity, bravery, and integrity. These are the words that have guided the FBI through countless generations. Dishonesty, deception, and corruption, I'm sad to say. The stark contrast and unfortunate reality we now find ourselves in. A reality that has revealed a politicized, weaponized, and corrupted Federal Bureau of Investigation in desperate need, in my opinion, for complete restructuring. One of the most egregious examples of dishonesty that the Durham report reveals relates to a critical piece on page 16 that summarizes a deeply troubling chain of events. Igor Duchenko, who was instrumental in the formation of the Steele dossier, claimed that one of his subsources was Sergei Milian, a Belarusian American businessman and publicly known to be a Trump supporter. The report goes on to highlight that Danchenko claimed to have received an anonymous phone call from an individual he later claimed to be Milian. Million. On page 173, it is stated this call supposedly revealed, quote, a well-developed conspiracy of cooperation between the Trump campaign and Russian leadership, end quote. What's the kicker here? The kicker is Danchenko had never met nor spoken with Milian prior to this call and told the Crossfire Hurricane team that despite never actually meeting Milian, he recognized his voice from a YouTube video. This blatant lie was taken at face value by both Christopher Steele and the FBI's Crossfire Hurricane investigation. Think about that. Everybody think about that. Danchenko was a foreign agent who the FBI was paying, by the way, we haven't talked about that much, hundreds of thousands of your taxpayer dollars, tells a blatant lie which leads to four FISA applications and lays the foundation for the Trump-Russia collusion hoax. And that's what it was. You may not like it, but that's what it was. One of the greatest disgraces this country, in my opinion, has ever seen. Americans are literally paying the price for this corruption. Such an egregious and intentional abandonment of the common procedures that FBI agents are supposed to follow truly encapsulates why so many Americans, including myself, are calling for complete restructuring of the FBI. And it is a reason why now, years later, the country finds itself so divided. Mr. Dorm, is it accurate to say the crossfire hurricane investigators made little to no effort to corroborate Danchenko's version of events relating to Milian? Um, that would be correct. Thank you. And is it accurate to say that despite not corroborating this information, that Crossfire Hurricane still used the Million accusation to bolster the Carter Page FISA applications. And that information was used in the initial FISA application and the three uh, renewal applications. So the answer is yes. Yes. Given the lack of effort by the Crossfire Hurricane investigators to validate Danchenko's assertions about Milian and their use of these unverified allegations in the Carter Page FISA application, does this raise any legal or ethical concerns about the validity of these FISA applications? I think the, um, it's been recognized by the department and certainly by the FISA court that with respect to at least some of those applications, um, they would never have been um, authorized. So it wouldn't have been granted um, had the, the information been disclosed. So it, it did help in achieving the FISA approval? Without question. Okay. I mean, we're getting to the real, these are the real issues. Misinformation, bad people, moving forward, 
getting FISA applications, doing all that they did. I have one quick last question. Do you believe the FBI has been politicized and weaponized and is in need for complete restructuring? I know I do. I know you have a softer version of it. I think too much happened. Too many bad things happen that, that you just can't move a few people around and make some minor changes. I think you need some major changes. And I also want to say there are many good people that work for the Department of Justice and work for the FBI. Proud to know them. These folks surely were not. Gentlemen's time has expired. The, the, the witness may respond if he chooses. Yeah, I, I, what, I can, what I can say is that there were um, identified, documented, significant failures of um, a, a highly sensitive, unique investigation that was undertaken by uh, the FBI. And the end investigation clearly reveals that um, decisions that were made were made in one direction. If there was something that was inconsistent with the notion that uh, Trump was involved in um, a well-coordinated conspiracy with the Russians and whatnot, um, that information was um, largely discarded um, or ignored. Um, and I think, unfortunately, that's what the facts bear out. Gentleman, uh, it yields back. The gentleman from Georgia is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Special Counsel Durham, for your time today. I yield the balance of my time to my colleague from California, Representative Adam Schiff. I thank you for yielding. Uh, one of my colleagues on the Republican side of the aisle took issue with my saying that the Trump campaign invited Russian help, received Russian help, made use of it, and then lied about it. So let's break this down. Uh, let's go to invited Russian help. Uh, Mr. Durham, you're aware of Donald Trump's public statements along the lines of, hey, Russia, if you're listening, hack Hillary's emails, you'll be richly rewarded by the press. You aware of that? I'm aware of that. And are you aware that Mueller found that Hours after he made that plea for Russian help, the Russians, in fact, tried to hack one of the email servers affiliated with the Clinton campaign or family? Uh, if that happened, I'm not aware of that. I mean, it could very you're, well. You're, you're not aware no. of that in the Mueller report? Um, so when you say you're not aware of evidence of collusion in the Mueller report, it's because you apparently haven't read the Mueller report very well. Um, yeah, if you're not aware of that fact. But let me ask you about something else. Sure. Don Jr., when offered Dirt, as part of what was described as a Russian government effort to help the Trump campaign, said, if it's what you say, I love it. Would you call that an invitation to get Russian help with dirt on Hillary Clinton? The words speak for themselves, I suppose. I, I think they do. And in fact, he said, especially late in summer. Late in summer was around when the Russians started to dump the stolen emails, wasn't it? Late in the summer, there was information that was um, disclosed by WikiLeaks, um, in mid to late July, I think there had spent some in June, and then there was maybe some later in October, was it? I think, but I don't, don't well, hold me to those dates. And, and this gets to the receipt of help, the second thing I mentioned, receiving Russian help. The dumping of those emails, by the way, just as forecast by what Papadopoulos told the Australian diplomat, that is that the Russians would help by leaking dirt anonymously through cutouts like WikiLeaks and DC leaks. I don't think that's exactly what he told the, the Australians, but... Well, he said that the, he was informed that the Russians could help by anonymously re releasing this information, right? Release what? By, anonymous, uh, by anonymously releasing information damaging to Hillary Clinton, right? Yeah, I mean, I think if you read what's in the cable and what's in the report as to what the uh, diplomats uh, reported was there was a suggestion of a suggestion that the Russians could help. They had damaging information as to Mrs. Clinton... Um, and by releasing it anonymously, release. right? And that's exactly what happened, isn't it? I, 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 don't, I don't... You really don't know? I'm, I'm not sure exactly... When you say exactly what happened... Well, the Russians the released that... stolen emails mm -hmm. through cutouts, did they not? There were emails... So it's a very simple question. Did they release WikiLeaks. information, stolen information through cutouts, yes or no? Yeah, I, I'm not sure that... You really what, don't what, know the answer to that? The answer is yes. They did. Through DC leagues. Well, your mind to, is yes. Well, <laughs> Mueller's answer was yes. More important than mine, Mueller's answer was yes. Now, that information, of course, was helpful to the Trump campaign, wasn't it? Yeah, I, don't, I don't think there's any question, but that the Russians intruded into 
Um, well, I just want to get into the systems. They released information. And that was helpful to Trump campaign, right? And the, and the conclusion in the ICA and in the uh, Mueller investigation was that the Russians intended to assist. Can you answer Trump. my question, Mr. Durham? That was helpful to the Trump campaign, right? Yeah, that's. And, and Trump made are. use of that, as I said, didn't he, by touting those stolen documents on the campaign trail over 100 times? I, I, I said, I don't really read the newspapers or listen to the news. I don't oh, really, you were, that you were, reliable, you were totally, so I don't know that. Mr. Durham, you are totally oblivious to Donald Trump's use of the stolen emails on the campaign trail more than 100 times? Did I'm that escape that. your attention? I am not aware of that. Uh, are you aware of the final prong that I mentioned, that he lied about it, that the Trump campaign covered it up? It's the whole second volume of the Mueller report. I hope you're familiar with that. Yeah, that's a section of the report, the second volume of relating to what's their obstruction of justice. Well, thank you for, for confirming what my Republican colleague attacked me about. Um, now, he also criticized the use of the word collusion, apparently giving private polling data to the Russians while the Russians are helping your campaign. They don't want to call collusion. Maybe there's a better name for it. Maybe they would prefer we just call it good old-fashioned GOP cheating with the enemy. Maybe that would be a little bit more accurate description. Uh, yeah. Because this is what happened, but they seem allergic to calling it for what it is. I yield back. Gentlemen.